Hi, and welcome to the Teaching Corner. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a mnemonic that helps students when they're trying to change units in the metric system. When I was in school, um, I was taught this mnemonic by Mrs. Jones at West Lauderdale High School, so thank you, Mrs. Jones. But it helps kids, instead of having to memorize all the conversions, it helps kids just know how to move the decimal and they don't have to memorize like that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer or that there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. It just helps them move the decimal place to where it should be. So the mnemonic is my King Henry does my dirty car mats. So I'll have the kids write this part on their paper every single time. But the first time that they're learning it, we'll, we'll go ahead and write the word so that they remember what it is. My King Henry does my dirty car mats. Now I've heard this done different ways. Um, this is the way that I learned it as a kid. I've heard it uh, about something about chocolate milk and I've heard different phrases, but this is the one that I remember. And it helps me remember it just because it's hilarious to think of a king doing dirty car mats. No king would ever do that. So it kind of puts a good visual picture in your brain. But each one of these stands for one of the different uh, units in the metric system. So M is for mega, kilo, hecta, deca, meter, deci, centi, and milli. And each one of these, as you know, goes into each other. There's 10 units for each one that go into the other units. So the reason I like this is after the students have learned this, we don't write all of this again but the students can then work the problems up here on top and you can either have it where they just write it on their piece of paper with a pencil and then they can erase as they go along or I've seen some teachers put it in a sleeve or laminate it so that the kids can use a marker, an expo marker to do the work. But you know, if you had 200 centimeters and you said, okay, we wanna go from centimeters to meters, then I have the students write the 200 ab above whatever it is that they're working on. And then they go, how many, how many letters do I move? One, two, so I'm gonna move my decimal place two places. And in this case, I'm moving my decimal place to the left. So they'll put their pencil where the decimal place is right now, and they'll move it to the left, one, two, two times. So there's two meters in 200 centimeters. Then let's say they had um, 15 kilometers and I want to know how many meters that is. They would write the 15 above kilometers and then they would say, how many letters do I move? One, two, three. So they're going to put their decimal where it goes and then they're going to go one, two, three. And they have three empty spaces. Anytime we have an empty space, we put a zero there. So now they're going to have one, two, three. So they would end up with 15,000 meters are in 15 kilometers. And then if you have a decimal in the front, let's say that you want to say we have 10 millimeters and I want to know how many meters there are then the kids would write 10 above millimeters and then they would go one, two, three. So my decimal is here. I'm gonna move it three places, one, two, three. And now I'm gonna draw the decimal point because my answer is actually gonna be a decimal and I still have an empty space. So they need to write that zero. So I'd have 0 0.01 meters in 10 millimeters. I really like this because students can use it all the way up through high school. They begin learning these uh, conversions in elementary school, but they'll use it in middle school and they'll use it in high school. I used it all the time and it's a quick, easy way that they can remember all the different conversions without having to remember exactly how many are in each one. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.